Yes, 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 YouTube. What is going on? Hope you're all doing well. We're on episode seven of Coach and Words and Phrases. So, in today's episode, we have got two further Coach and Words and Phrases for you guys. One is very much um, kind of team dependent, more attacking based, and the other one is kind of individual based, but can be done across all positions other than goalkeepers. So, before we dive into today's video, please drop it a like. And secondly, if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, please do so. It means more than you know. And if you haven't clicked that notification bell, why the hell have you not? We point, we try and post twice a week if we can, mostly once a week. Without further ado, let's get into today's video. I hope you guys enjoy this one. Okay, next up guys, we're gonna look at something called POMO. POMO stands for Position of Maximum Opportunity, okay? So we've got a couple of opposition players in, we've got the goalkeeper and we've got the number three, just to make it a little bit realistic. Uh, the formation doesn't really matter for the Reds, but we will be working with the Reds. So number seven, um, it's got the ball, he's gonna take on the number three. So we'll just create that situation in here. As he goes by, bang, he gets beyond the number three. The number three is scrambling to get back, okay? So you might get to the byline in this situation here. Now, this is where we need to try and maximize uh, an opportunity to try and score a goal as, as a sort of the red team, if you like. So straight away, every single cross that comes inside the box um, will always, always, always uh, providing it doesn't get blocked in here, will always get to the front post, okay? So if you think about the cross always going inside the box, it will always get in and around that front post area. So we need to make sure a player gets in and around the front post. So straight away, we're gonna get someone to go and dart in here. So typically it could be your number nine. They're gonna go and dart in, in and around the front post. Straight away, we've now given ourselves a great chance of scoring a goal. Now, because we're maybe in a semi-cutback position here, because we're quite near the touchline, we also got to think about maybe a, a type of cutback as well. So straight away, the 10 might arrive late in around the penalty spot. Again, that ball could get into, fizzed into the number 10 there in a cutback position. Again, we're giving ourselves another opportunity, another scenario to try and score a goal. Another one is maybe a number four arriving really, really, really late. And as that ball sort of, the, the number seven gets to that byline, he's looking to maybe stand one up to the far post into this position, over sort of everyone, to the far post, maybe for um, a bullet header at the far post. So straight away, we've got a nine, a 10, and a four, giving ourselves plenty of opportunity to try and score a goal, okay? So that's what basically POMO stands for, position of maximum opportunity, get in those positions where there's the higher chance for you to score a goal. So one, the number nine, get at the front post because every cross run doesn't get blocked early on, we'll get to the front post, and whatever capacity, whether it be low or high, medium height. 10, there could also be a cutback, someone arriving a little bit later than number nine, and then a number four arriving really, really late at the far post for a stand-up cross, maybe for a bullet header. up So next up, we're gonna look at something called go-to-show movement, okay? Some people like to call it go-to-show, that's my preference. Some people like to call it just opposite movement, okay? 
So we're going to be working with the number 11 in particular here and um, we just incorporate some of the opposition just to make it sort of realistic so you guys can see exactly what it kind of looks like. So the 11, we're going to use say Real Madrid um, in their pomp and this is Cristiano Ronaldo playing on the left wing, okay? So as you can see, uh, Ronaldo is marked quite tightly by the fullback and the number three's got the ball over here. So Ronaldo could, you know, that pass could quite easily go into there, but most likely it's going to have to be a bounce pass back because the number two is so tightly marked Ronaldo. So in order for Ronaldo to create some space, you could do a couple of things. So we could go, you could spin off this way and attract the two to go with him, assuming that the ball's going to be played over the top. But actually, he's now going to go in here and all of a sudden he's probably creating himself a half a yard to now receive on the back foot and maybe now play forwards, maybe combine with the number nine, or maybe going a bit of a mazy down the line. So that's one way of doing it. And then literally it's just the opposite to, to go behind. So again, he's tightly marked from behind. He might suck the two in, in here, just like that. And there's a big space in here. Okay, maybe the five might get across, depends on the profile of that player and the opposition um, tactics, etc. So he sucked in the number two. And as soon as he's done that, he's now gonna spin off behind and get the ball in that position there as the ball gets traveled. So then there's a bit more space to sort of run into, it's a bit of a, more of a foot race if you like. So it's basically the opposite movement to try and create some space, okay? So you could be tightly marked like Ronaldo was, and all of a sudden he needs to create some space for himself to, um, to do his thing. Uh, another example could be, for example, number nine is marked by the number six, we'll put the number four on the ball. Okay, so we'll just move that a little bit like that. And maybe the number nine is getting a bit frustrated. He's not in the game at all. Again, he might threaten to go in this space here, which means the six has to go. He can't not go in this position to protect the space from behind. And then he comes in short, receives the ball in here. The six will probably come in as well, but it probably won't be as tight. The nine might go and play a bounce into the seven. He might play back to the number four. Depends what he can do. He might be able to get the half turn if he scans his shoulder and then sort of maybe go on a bit of a, a drive himself and maybe go and get a strike away. So that is go to show movement. He can just see the Sevilla defender starts to make a movement towards him because basically that's what great players do. They have a habit, the second that he sees him coming, he spins him behind and he's left for dead and he's left the centre-back and the right-back.